everyone thanks for tuning into the unknown games podcast we've hit a huge milestone we've hit 500 listens and i can't tell you how much me and alex are thankful grateful earnestly happy any other words i can use uh ecstatic there we go there we go we're ecstatic yo seriously who would have thought we've got listeners from the u.s japan costa rica france ireland canada norway germany australia taiwan the uk puerto rico and finland now i never imagined that we would take over the globe or partially take over the globe and a lot of the states and wow does this mean we're getting big 500 listens does that translate to 500 dollars no it, it, it doesn't but what it does translate to is a lot of love and i gotta say from the bottom of our little hearts we can't say thank you enough. I'm always saying thank you to you, everybody. Uh, I hope you th- it reaches you this time. I hope it, it reaches you. Alex, you better be listening to the podcast, buddy. I don't know. That just crossed my mind. Who, who knows? Out of these 500 listens, how many are actually us? Not that not, not that many, right? Not, no. Right. Well, this episode, we've got a kind of bonus thing. I mean, you'll hear from the beginning. It's just fun. It's a fun episode, and that's what we like to do. Give you fun, so you can take on your road, or just on your computer, wherever you're at. Whatever you're doing, we want to hope that you're, you know, listening to us in your ear. And telling your friends, your family, your dogs, your cats, your PCs, and your figures. Because I just happened to look at a figure on my desk, so you got to tell your figures about us as well. Anyways, guys, girls, we love you. Thank you so much for helping us reach this milestone, and we hope to hit a thousand dreams you know you gotta set your dreams set your dreams everyone remember you can do whatever you set your mind to am i teaching okay you're gonna tell me shut up now anyways the episode's super short it's like 20 minutes so we hope that you enjoy it remember you can follow us on twitter and instagram at ugp underscore cast also remember we have a youtube which i kind of update which i'm gonna be updating more and i still need to get that blue protocol video up Oh, man. Well, that's homework for me. And here's your homework. You're going to hear the sponsorship after this break. And then after that, you're going to hear the show. Wonderful days. Thanks again. We're globetrotting. Oh, going to dance with somebody. Oh, you'll get it. You'll get it. Hey, Jen, never thought about making a podcast? All the time, except for we are already making a podcast. No, but I mean, like, a different one. Maybe a better one. Um, sure? Yeah, so I was on the internet, and I was trying to figure out, like, what's the best host for a podcast, or, you know, pretty much how can I make a podcast, and I think I settled on Anchor. We're already using Anchor, buddy. Wait, are you, are you serious? Are we, are we actually? I'm, I'm actually serious, because it's free, and, of course, we're on, like, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and, like, Google Podcasts, and so many other places. Well, how do we do that, though? Uh, I'm... Anchor did that for us. Oh, just like automatically, right? Anchor yeah. just distri- distribute your podcast for like free. Exactly. Wait, I thought oh. you did the research. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can I mean, I kind of did, but I I do know that Anchor will help you make money from podcasts. Cash money, cash money, cash money grabs. Exactly. That's how we're making money right now. I think. Absolutely. Like right at this very moment. At this very moment with this sponsorship. Well, I mean, also, Anchor has some pretty cool creation tools that let you record and also edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, because I know you got one of those, probably. Uh, I do have a computer, but I don't have a phone. Ah, uh, well, whatever. You can still make a podcast, because in 2020, there's no reason why anyone shouldn't have a podcast. Everyone deserves a voice. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, Anchor is uh, just everything you need to make a podcast, but just all in one place. You can download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Enjoy the show, everyone. Thanks for listening.
how does this work? Just well, talking about FF7, yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, everybody? This is a bonus guest. Hold up, let me stop real quick. One, two, three. Yeah, um, so me and Alex were just finishing up the last podcast, episode 31, and just started talking about Final Fantasy Seven. I don't know. You know, it's all good, but we got some bones to pick. It's not bones. But yeah, let's let's talk about this. We're talking about Red 13, and I'm not that far. I'm on chapter eight, which I think is around halfway through the game or something. But we were talking about like so someone hacked the code or something. So yeah, can play so there's him. I just noticed this this article on IGN saying that like someone hacked uh, a save file um, to get Red 13 to be playable. So he is like he has the 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 at least the bare bones of a playable party member. Um, in there already, which honestly that makes sense to me because he will be playable eventually, right? Right, right. But I mean, so. like, yeah, you don't need to get any skills. And I, we were talking, you know, like you don't need to invest that much like in him. Like you can't, you can't do much. You only get to play him for a couple hours, so there's no need to get any type of skills. And what I did yeah. notice is like it's hard to grind in this game. Like, yeah, I noticed that too because like once you're going through an area. Once you're going through an area and you like defeat the mobs, they like don't respawn for quite some time. Some quite some time. It took I think like maybe fifteen minutes. I don't know, maybe ten minutes or something to kind of go back. And I, I was like, wait, I thought I beat those enemies, and that's the first time I realized like, oh, they do actually respawn. But you yeah, it's like a linear corridor. <laughs> yeah, the only the only time that you'll notice like them respawning is if you double back. So for me, I noticed that the first time when I was on my way to sector five. Uh, mm -hmm. The second bombing mission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, you're, yeah, you're past this part. So you're going on your way to Sector 5, and you have to turn off, like, the artificial suns. All the lamps? That's where I noticed it, too. Yep. Yeah, so you have to turn off the artificial, like, suns or whatever, like, the lamps. And then you're kind of going back and forth between these, these the, the, the underplate area. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, like, those bug things uh, respawn. Dude, those, the, the, the queen bugs were fun to fight. I actually enjoyed fighting them. Like, I enjoy... The com that's why that's like why, like why like I'm so upset and happy at the same time. Like anytime I get a chance to fight, I'm super happy to fight. However, every time I'm not fighting, I'm like, okay, like I'm enjoying the story. I like the game, but I just want to fight more. Give me a just let me fight. Let me fight. So I, do I you want more. like a higher encounter rate? I want high encounter like but the way it's done is like it's very set. They don't want you to get past a certain level threshold. Um and they actually, like, you get the equipment. This isn't like other Final Fantasies where you're going to go buy extra equipment, right? Like, Oh, yeah, it's really sad. Like, you only get, like, a couple, like, a handful of weapons in the game. And, like, yeah, Barrett's uh, extra, I guess it was, like, a light machine gun or so. I forgot what it was called, but it was, like, literally, like, hey, Wedge. Was it Wedge or uh, Biggs? Biggs, I think. He's just like, hey, you're going to need this. Here you go. I was like. Thank you for giving me another weapon upgrade. I will equip this now because I need to level up the abilities so I can carry it over with me no matter what weapon I use. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's and like thankfully, thankfully actually, when you get a new weapon, it doesn't take that long to to learn the ability. You can just yeah. spam it for a couple fights and then you and you'll have it. That, yeah, and it's it's pretty it's just pretty nice. Um, like I said, I love the combat, but any other RPG. Any other RPG, if this was not Final Fantasy VII Remake, would get torn to hell because you can't do squat in this game. I mean, at least well, where I'm at. I haven't let it open like, up yet. I haven't let yeah. the linear open yet. Maybe it does. But for um, well, we'll see when when you leave Midgar. But I, I think the encounter rate is, is pretty calculated because like, because you can't grind. You can't easily grind, rather. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of people are going to accidentally level up without the intention of grinding do you know what i mean yeah like yeah. you have to be in the mindset of like i am going to grind and i'm going to wait for these mobs to respawn and they only give uh, you so much xp like i mean oh my god it's so little it's so pathetic it's so, like, it's so little it's like yeah. you got was it 30 100 maybe like <laughs> I, I think i was i i think i told you this um but the final boss like the final boss gave me like um 1500 experience which is not That's that's not that a lot. much. Yeah, That's it's not that not much. I do, I do want to. I do want to ask one question though. So, I I have the three party members, of course, Barrett, Tifa, and uh, Cloud. Yeah. Was Cloud to, like for you? Did Cloud need more babysitting than all the other characters? Like his health just goes down for no reason. Like this dude can't uh, stay alive when you're playing him. 
When you play as like, him? When I play as him for some unearthly reason, I cannot stay alive. But anytime um, I'm playing anyone else, I can stay alive with all the other characters. Tifa, I'm I can the, go ham no, and No, I'm whale. the opposite. Like, it doesn't matter who I, when I play as a character, that's when they take a lot of damage. Um, okay, okay. So. I think it's because, like, they attack, they, uh, they attract a lot of aggro. So if I was playing as Cloud and I was getting, like, focused, I would switch over to a different party member to try mm -hmm. to pull aggro away from Cloud away. so that I, so I could get him healed up. Because it was, because I, I found myself using a lot of heals and I'm like, okay, this is cool and all, but... Oh my goodness, like... <laughs> yeah, you, you lose a lot of MP if you're constantly using healing. So, I mean, if you have the Monk Materia, you can use that for, like, quote-unquote free healing. Because it just uses ATB as opposed to MP. I've got to I've gotta get that. I'm... I'm oh, i got to talk to my boy, uh, Chatty? Charty? No, I, I think Tifa starts with that Materia. It's the Chakra Wait, Materia. Oh, no, yeah, the Chakra Materia. Yeah, yeah. I was using yeah. that for her. So, she's, she's very self-sufficient. And I also have, like, the, uh, was it the Auto... Auto cure. Yeah, so your party members well. will like auto use a healing item or something if you're getting low. So I was like, "Hey yeah, guys, please take care of each other. We love you. Fight, fight, I fight, actually, fight." <laughs> I actually had Barrett as like my secondary healer. Is he's that weird? Pretty, he's pretty yeah. good, right? He, he's using yeah, yeah, it like. Yeah. So I've got right now. I've got, and I'm only halfway, but I've got Tifa as a magic user who it used to be Barrett, but now Tifa's got all the because she has like a lot of material slots in that gauntlet that she gets. So I'm like, okay, you got four potentially like four slots on this mug on just yeah so uh you're gonna be you're gonna be the wielder cloud did you get yeah sorry no go ahead oh did, did i get what now did you get the nail bat weapon for cloud is this before chapter seven like where are you in the story i i just finished the uh, was it airbuster i think the airbuster so you fell down into the church yeah, yeah. and you stopped right there i stopped right there yeah okay sorry so you will get very soon you will get <laughs> A nail bat. <laughs> that thing better have material slots all throughout it, just like. <laughs> I hate I hate that weapon so much. But so, I had to I had, had to, to use it. it. <laughs> I had for the skill, right? I had to use it for the friggin' ability. I'm like, oh, this is man. the worst friggin' oh, thing. Man, I, I, okay, so I, this is a weird, like, nitpicky thing, and I think I'm gonna be the only one. And I, we talked about this earlier, <laughs> off of off of uh, the off recording. But I was like, you know what, Tifa just ain't getting it for me in this game. I love her personality. I mean, I love her personality. But there's something about her forehead and her eye ratio. Something I know. Is I off like. There. I like her. I like her a lot. I think she's good. Something is off right there. Actually, she looks more like a normal Japanese person who I could see like playing Apex or something. I think I noticed that, that too. Actually, I, I noticed that when I was playing that she looks very like she, Japanese. Yeah, she looks like a like a Jap like if you just go up look up like a Japanese uh, female streamer, mainly for like FPS games. I think it's Apex. You know, just look up Apex Momochi. Omochi, sorry. That, look up. That Omochi. what she looks like. She kind of reminds me of Omochi, like or like someone who's kind of had like the big eyes effect on like some software, and then like. I'm yeah. sorry. I'll send you a picture of Omochi, and you can just tell me like, does it kind of remind you of her? Um, but no, she's, she's she's still best girl. Eric still has best looks though in this game, and hands down for right now. But Jesse's still my. Dang, Jesse, stop laying it on like that. I was like, damn. Oh Jessie. yeah, man. Um, damn. You should finish I'll, it like next. Because we're we're getting into Golden Week yeah. really soon here, right? Yeah. Um. So Wednesday actually is is a is a day off actually. So. Yep. That's what I uh, plan on. It's a on holiday, so you should like honestly like we you should finish it so we can talk about it. Finally, do the spoiler cast. <laughs> it's so it's sad. like oh my god! Like, it's like fine wine, dude. It is like fine wine. I want to sip it as long as I can, but. I can feel, I can feel it. I can feel it. No, you have to in. like, you That's have to shotgun part. it. You have to shotgun it like it's a frat party beer. Like you have to, you have to die on it. Like oh, I'm telling, I'm, I'm saying, man, like when I beat that game, like I, I had to like, just be like, what the, f and then I had to like go on the internet to be like, did anyone feel the same way about this? Like, oh man. Oh my goodness. It's, it's, it's such a good game. It's it's so good. My <laughs> Apex is like stalling me, and and I've been having some great games of Apex, but I had a good one too, actually. So I had a not like I was playing. Um, well, I played I nightly almost, but I wasn't having a good couple games like two nights ago. But I finished the night with like a really really good game of Apex. That's... Um, I found like a Mastiff, and then I just. 
took it to victory. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was using that, like, three teams in the final ring. Like, it was, a, it was oh, man, it was so much, but... Yeah, I love, I love, I love it when you have the the mastiff. The mastiff is so good. I but oh gosh, like uh, it comes like the apex. But I mean, it is a bonus. This isn't a bonus. I don't know what this is. This is just like off chat fun. But yeah, apex has been good. I can't wait for this the next season. But I know I've told myself I'm not gonna play as much of it as season four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna try to lay off a little bit. Um, but I have like me and my team, man, we've been running that, that, that thick setup, man. Just so thick, uh, Watson, uh, caustic and Gibraltar, Gibraltar. Don't, don't come in our, our zone. We will stuff you out. And if you get in my face, I will still stuff you out. It's just been so much fun, man. <laughs> it's been stupid fun, but next season, I know a lot of people are talking about like mirage buffs, uh, octane potential buffs. And I would love an octane buff. To be what, what, would, what would he need? Like, what? What? what I can... want him. I want him to have wall <laughs> running. I want wall running. On so you Octane. want walls? You want like? But that would need a whole new map. So are we going to get a new map, or are we going to get some like weird? I don't know. Something else changes on the map. Someone was actually thinking that um, the reason why Kings Canyon, and I, I don't say who who it is. It was Rain Day on Rain Day Gaming. Love the dude. Uh, but he was saying like he's thinking that the map rotation came into play because they're actually just getting new players used to King's Canyon to reintroduce King's Canyon as season five's main map. Uh, it's possible. I don't know. Like, I don't know if we're going to get a third map or, or what, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I don't know if they'll give any character wall running, to be honest. I don't know if we talked about this, but like they were testing wall running on Apex because this is this Titanfall team, right? Yeah, yeah. And they said they were like testing when they were making a battle royale, they were like, uh, everyone at one point had had pilot abilities, which was double jumping and wall running. Mm -hmm. And they said when they were when players could do that, it was almost impossible to engage in a gunfight in a gunfight that made sense because because you could basically be anywhere. It was so difficult to like to predict where a team would be because they could be actually they could be in the sky like at that moment, like they could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So that's why they they had to take it out because they needed the the gunfights to be grounded and more predictable. Which which does help because I mean like even with Octane jumping all over the place, I mean it's not that bad. But when he's running, when Octane is running, if you play him right, like we played against an Octane who literally we thought he was two or three different people with the amount that he was running up and down like like around this building because he was like, what, dude, wait, wait, where is he at? And then we're like, okay, it was just one Octane and we we got the win, but like. I think that's the thing, like with Mirage and Octane, they don't have skills that contribute completely to the team in like the way that other legends do. Mm -hmm. um, the Oct you know, Octane's jump pad is really fun and it really does help when you're trying to get to certain areas, especially if you don't have a Pathfinder. But uh, if you are a good player and you know how to use them, they can be like annoying nuisances, even even Mirage. Like Mirage, where the f where are you at? So who knows what they're going to give for his buff. I'm uh, like Mirage is honestly like way more better. Like his his hollow pilot ability, that's what it came from in Titanfall. It's it's better in, in Apex because he is convincing. He does stuff. He looks at his gun. It looks like he's he's looting sometimes. Mm -hmm. But like in, in Titanfall, the hollow the hollow pilot, honestly, I didn't find it very useful because like you would use it and then he it would just like run into a wall and like obviously, <laughs> that's all, obviously that's on you. Obviously that's on a player, right? It's like obviously it's not a player. Yeah, oh, and the man. fact that your hollow pilot in Titanfall couldn't wall run and i'm like well what player would not wall run so that's the dummy right there yeah you know, we've we got stuff for him and uh maybe even like watson getting toned down maybe one uh accelerant is not going to give her like full ultimate now oh yeah I but i mean i love that thing um because it charges your shield it's so good uh, watson. have you been playing a lot of revenant or no i haven't been playing i haven't been playing revenant i tried him once or twice and it's like uh, just for our team comp, he doesn't fit as well. But like, I kind of want to run him more. Like, you've been playing more Resident, though, right? He's like, he's like my new main. He has so, replaced the Octane. I very, love very well. Like, he, I mean, he's I legit. love his new buff. Like, I, I love his the fact that he has two of those silence charges now. Um, I actually use them offensively. Um, well, you're just supposed to use them offensively, not yeah. defensively. But I use them like as smoke screens essentially. Because if if you can throw them through a window, right? Mm-hmm. And that like just impedes vision. Like you can't see through it. You can kind of, but it like it really gets in your way. And you can't really like the the area, the the radius of where like when you 
where you see the smoke and usually it'd be like, okay, if I step into the core area of the ability, I should get hurt with his, you know, his lockout, right? You shouldn't be able to use your skills there. Now, if you touch the smoke that is yeah. floating around and it's a pretty wide radius. Yeah, you, it'll get you. It'll get you. And you're like, dang, it covers, it really does make you like really think like, crap, I can't really move here. Gosh, him plus Bloodhound? That should be stupid. Yeah, I like it a lot. I use it to pressure because, like, you can shoot it and fire a gun at the same time. So hopefully season hopefully season five we'll get all these these adjustments. And uh, like I said, we saw how, how impactful it was with Bloodhound. Like, literally, you do a scan, people fly like rats. They're like, I got scanned. Oh, man, that, that Bloodhound do. buff was crazy. <laughs> like, they buffed the range on that thing. In, like, it's so big. People are just like, I got scanned. Oh, what do I do? Let me run out. Like, you'll literally see them run back and forth. And then, like, scurry from a hole. Like, crap, he knows where I am. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, dude. that Bloodhound buff is pretty... Like, I remember when they buffed it. I was like, dude, that thing can scan from, from like, forever. Like, so it's so good. far. Yeah. Oh, Anyways. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was it. That's it. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this one little bonus fun thing. It's not a bonus cast. It's just us having fun, talking things we like. Yeah. We, like, always actually chat a little bit after we record, but we just recorded the chat. <laughs> yeah. We were just like, you know, we should just, we should just do this. <laughs> yeah. You got a name. You got to name uh, some uh, a musical song that either we have to find for this thing. Uh, yeah. That. Thanks everybody for tuning in to what we just heard. Girls, wait, dance. Just dance with somebody. Right. <laughs> See you guys next week. All right. Later, guys. <laughs> Where's the freaking one? Craig, Craig, I'm in the wrong room again. <laughs> <laughs>